So my name is Elkim Mamadov. I am Digital Forensics Examiner at Fortnet. I'm going to go over synopsis of open source intelligence quickly. It's, it's a big world, so we don't have that much time. Uh, obviously, it's gathering, of information, it's gathering information from publicly available sources for, for your intelligence uh, to make uh, better decisions. You can use it in uh, law enforcement, cybersecurity, military, corporate security, journalism, pen testing, uh, social engineering, yeah, you tell me. So <clears throat> one of the, so from now I'm gonna just perform it a little bit. For example, we have a tool, Sherlock, it's in GitHub. So basically you can uh, give a username as an input and it's gonna give you like wherever this username is used, like in Twitter, Instagram, it will pull out. Let's see. So we have a CSI Linux. Uh, let me go a little bit down. Oh, jeez. So we have a CSI Linux. It is, uh, it's basically a platform for uh, tools for open source intelligence. We have a lot of forensic tools and dark web. So this is uh, basically a social online investigation. I have um, used a lot of tools from here. For example, Twint is one of the good tools that you can uh, put your username. For example, you wanna say, I was using uh, Twint. Let's say there's a war going on between, between Russia and Ukraine. And allegedly, if you, you are using Kharkov for the city name, you are pro-Russian. If you use Kharkiv, you are pro-Ukrainian. Yeah, of course, there are exceptions. So you wanna know that, okay, show me all the verified accounts, let's say like 10 miles radius of San Francisco that use Kharkov as a hashtag. So this is one of the ways you can find like pro-Russian individuals or organizations or pro-Ukrainian. Pro so these are all the rules. Uh, so for example, I wanna say that, uh, I wanna use, I hope you can see, whoever used Kharkov uh, within 10 kilometer radius of uh, Paris. Okay, so, so that, then it's gonna find all the tweets that use that hashtag within 10 miles, 10 kilometer of Paris. And we have another, uh, a lot more. For example, you can find emails, phone number. So this is my favorite. Okay, let's go here. And social media. So you wanna search for username. Let's say I, I wanna search my username, for example. So it's gonna bring all the websites that I have signed up. So it's very interesting. Uh, open source intelligence is a very interesting field. And you can do a lot more, I don't have a time. And it's more Linux based. You can find these tools on Windows, but they are paid. But on Linux, most of them are uh, free. That's it. That's all I have. Questions? And by the way, by the way, just give me one second. This is a very good book. It's not available online, no PDF. So it's all a physical copy. Uh, Michael Basil, he was FBI agent for cyber, cyber investigation for 20 years. And he wrote a book like, thousands of tools that you can do a cyber investigation uh, uh, for uh, open source intelligence. What is the name of this? OSINT tec techniques. And just give me one second. So there's a good website, actually his website. So here, uh, inteltechniques.com. So you can basically, uh, if you want to search for username, you can go ahead and put the input. And for, uh, and this is also Facebook. Let's say if you wanna, 
for someone who uses certain words between certain time frame on Facebook. So it's gonna bring up. It's called whoPostedWhat.com. That's it. You don't need to do it. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, that's a little. Uh, watch what you post online. Hey. Um, of the tools in this particular toolkit, are most of them focusing on social networks, or are there also tools for analyzing uh, patterns in published media, in newsletters, and other kinds of online publications? Yes, Maltigo is a very cool tool, Maltigo. It is uh, it's for mostly for journalists who are investigating like crimes, money laundering. It's a very strong tool. Uh, my next uh, presentations I may go over Maltigo, just Maltigo, and show how amazing it is. Yeah. I'm just curious, um, are there any major tools uh, for finding correlations in style to find different usernames but belonging to the same person? Uh, like alias, that I don't know, probably yes, but uh, I don't know, or it doesn't come to my mind, right? Probably, maybe I know, but. Cool, thanks. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the question. Is Twitter providing uh, in, in their API the location of the tweet? It doesn't use Twitter API at all. Twint, for example, this tool, uh, Twint. One second. Mm. Also in the investigation, social. This twin tool doesn't uh, use a Twitter API. So how do they know the location of the tweets? Uh, actually, I just found about this tool, so I can't answer that. But it's a good question that I need to find out. But I verified that. I verified that. And I checked, manually checked, made sure it pulls out right data. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Yeah. Going once, going twice. Okay, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.